Hello everyone, this is Rollin' Lover 2021. I actually wanted to make this video because if y'all heard the piano sounds that I've made on the keyboard, well, I decided to update them a little bit and change them a little bit, so I'm going to show them to you right now. Let me just get this up on the tripod and we'll get started. Alright, so hopefully y'all can hear me. So, y'all heard this piano sound before. which was used in the pianos that I made. <clears throat> now, let's hold on to that piano sound. Yeah, let's hold on to this piano sound. Let me find it again. There we go. So let's hold on to this piano sound. Now listen to this one. Go into favorites. I actually like this one a whole lot better than I do this one. <clears throat> now this was actually the sample. Let me find the grand piano. I'm going to go to the general MIDI grand piano. You know, while I'm at it, let me turn the tripod a little bit to where y'all are not aiming at that mod wheel so much. Just... There we go. There we go. All right, so. So this is the original piano sample. And now it does kind of have a filter sweep on it, so, but this is what the sample kind of sounds like. Let's do, gym, uh, let's do a gymnopathy. So here's what the piano sounds like. Now, even though the way Korg made this one is a little different from what I, how I made it. It still use, utilizes the same piano sample. So here's Gymnopity, a little few bars. Now, a way we can tell that apart from this one, let's go to number six on the piano category. This one. Let me turn off the reverb so you can better hear the piano differences. Here's this one. <clears throat> I hit that last note a little too huh? Too hard and too loud, but you'll get the picture. Now listen to this one. The same piano sounds I made, but I'm using a different different piano sample. Listen to the one on number six in the original piano category. Now, even though number six on the original piano category has damper resonance, mine does not, but it's cool. It still has, which I think mine actually sounds a lot better. So I'll hit it hard, and you can hear the difference between the two pianos. Now, minus the filter ADSR envelope on both pianos, just listen to the way the samples sound. Let's hit uh, one, uh, number six. Let's go to the original chord cross grand piano. Here's the chord cross grand piano. <clears throat> Here's my piano. You don't hear too many harmonics, but you do hear a higher harmonic. So it kind of has on, roughly between B and B flat. More of this note. 
number six in or the regular chord cross piano <coughs> piano samples that Korg uses. You do kind of hear that higher note, but it's the same sample that they use on most of their pianos, even on the ones, even on the, not the general MIDI set, but most of the other pianos use that, utilize that same sample, or a sounding sample. But I decided to go a bit different and use something, a piano sample that is, has not been used on the keyboard by Korg and go with my own sample. And there it is. So we went from this sample here to a mo and from the other samples that Korg uses to a more professional sounding And I also did the same thing on the last one, which is the double piano, or I should say more professionally produced piano. Oh, now you can really hear the different, different speeds on some of the tuning. Now, one more thing before I end this. Let's go back to that other piano sample. Now, there's one sample right there, which takes up seven notes. There's one sample that takes up five notes. And there's a sample that takes up seven. Now the ones I did, let's go, let's use this one. That's one sam, that's four notes on one sample. Four notes. Oh, three notes. Four notes. Four notes. Four notes. Four notes. And so on. So the, my professional piano sample actually uses less samples. Well, actually uses more samples, but the samples are on fewer notes, therefore giving more variety to the piano sound versus seven notes on the lowest octave and then five notes and then seven notes on that one, four notes. There's no variety on this piano sample. Or but there are the other piano sound sound samples use the exact same uh, sample ratio that I use. But I find this one to be more professional sounding. Let's hear what that sounds like with reverb. You can hear the filters too, like the dampers. Yeah, this is more professional. Same thing with the, <clears throat> the way more professional sounding piano. And there we go. There are my piano samples, the updated, and there's the updated sound for the piano on the chord cross, and I will actually use that one from now on whenever I do the blue light piano series. So thank you for watching this video, and I sure hope you enjoyed it as much as I did updating the piano sound and sharing it with y'all.